Hey there, this is my Tatra Force T815-7 review, and this is a cool ass truck. The footage on screen is the truck wading through thick mud in the Rostov Oblast hauling a trailer loaded up with concrete blocks. So first off, this truck is somewhere between the Azov 64131 and the Zix 605R. It can use an array of add-ons, including saddle high, fuel tanker, sideboard bed, loading crane, and the ramped towing platform. The loading crane can be used in conjunction with both the high saddle and the sideboard bed and as an extra little bit you can have a roof rack fitted which contains 300 repair points and 160 litres of spare fuel. Additionally this truck can run the great combo of loading crane, sideboard bed and be able to tow a trailer for all those efficient cargo hulls that you may need to carry out. This truck has a wide and low profile, meaning its sensor of gravity is especially low, making it very stable and fairly tricky to roll over unless you basically purposely drive off a cliff or fall into a steep ditch. 50 inch tires are the only size available, but you do have multiple options of all-terrain, off-road, mud and chain tires, allowing plenty of surface versatility. Engine power and durability are great with a few options. Uh, and the, the KZGT-8 530T engine will just about drain all of your fuel altogether, so avoid that one. Speaking of the fuel consumption levels, uh, I use the 520AT engine with the advanced special gearbox, and this gives the truck a B plus rating in fuel consumption. And as you can see, the fuel consumption is around the same as the Zix 605R. The difference between this truck and the Zix 605R is that you can actively switch on or off the all-wheel drive and the diff lock system, which can be aspects generating greater consumptions of fuel, especially the all-wheel drive, so when you want to, just knock it off. In the footage here, you can see the truck driving through thick mud hauling heavy cargo, barely breaking 10 litres of consumption per minute, which is really good when some can be 20 to 30 litres. The main gimmick, which is behind the hype of this truck, is the ramped towing platform, which is given to the truck in order for it to function as kind of a recovery vehicle. And without beating around the bush, just don't bother with it. Um, it doesn't even have the ability to provide repair points or spare wheels, so there's all of this space is just taken up for nothing. My first test of it was to try and tow the Azov 5319 with it. Packing the truck was simple enough, but the rig barely had the ability to raise the Azov front wheels off the ground, and in actually doing so, counterbalanced the front of the Tatra Force, causing most of the steering ability to go out of the window. Couple this with the shaking, glitching, and instability means I wouldn't really trust using the ramp towing platform over long distances, and it is easier just to tow a truck just with a winch like normal. Newly added to both the Tatra Force and the Tatra Phoenix is the loading crane, which is a hella chunky thick boy. However, it basically performs in the same manner as all the other cranes, so generally lacks any lifting force at full extension, and its bark is definitely worse than its bite. To obtain this truck, you must complete the Sleeping King task, which is unlocked after completing the Riverport contract in the Rostov Oblast, the Don region. So it's basically the factory grounds map. So overall, this truck is pretty good, though it falls short in a few areas. Poor crane and towing platform power. There's no maintenance uh, van body add-on and no saddle low option, which is an option on similarly sized trucks like the Azov 64131. So overall, I'm going to rate this truck 8 out of 10. As uh, it, you know, it does suck about the few points just mentioned, but it is great endurance, speed and fuel efficiency, and it is a force to be reckoned with. So it's a thumbs up from me. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. If you found this video useful, then please let me know down below and uh, give the video a like as it really helps the channel out. And let me know if these videos have done well and uh, yeah, have a great day.